Is Pokemon getting too expensive? I have heard a lot of people complaining that it's getting a bit too expensive with like posts on Facebook and all that and let's look at it. So um the base games, Sword and Shield, fifty quid. Um DLC was uh twenty odd quid, so let's just say twenty quid. Um but to you but because of how the Nintendo eShop works, you have to get one for either version, but Let's just uh, say 50 quid for the game, another 20 quid uh, for um, the DLC, um, that's in total 70 quid. Um, then you have, uh, and uh, basically that's all you really need, because there is Nintendo, uh, there are other added fees, well you don't technically even need um, to get to the DLC you just really need for to play Pokemon you just need to buy the game but you can uh, DLC on it um, Nintendo Online I wouldn't even say it's fair to say to add that onto the price here because firstly you don't need Nintendo Online to play the Pokemon games you can't buy the Pokemon games and play them without being online at all secondly it's not like it's the only game that utilizes online Nintendo Online, like seriously, like fair, it would be fair enough if uh, Pokemon was like, if you uh, went into the Pokemon games and it, uh, it was like you need to uh, pay X amount to play uh, um, against other people on po in Pokemon, then yeah, I'd be angry at that. But no, it's Nintendo Online, and it, uh, um, while I would uh, like it if they had uh, better servers. I really don't can't don't really complain about Nintendo Online because there's not really much to complain about. I like my NES and SNES games on my Switch because that's nice if you want to play some old classics. Um, but uh, it's not like uh, Nintendo's the only one of the big three that uh, makes you pay to play online with your friends, and that uh, um, it is actually the cheapest of the three. And Pokemon Home. You don't need it to play Pokemon. Like the only reason you need Pokemon Home is to store Pokemon. Like you don't need it. Like unless you want to bring Pokemon from Let's Go or Bank, you don't need it. So not really adding on to the cost. Like seriously, two. Like, you could argue three of these are optional, but I'm just going with two of these are optional because um, you'll see why we're why we, um, in a minute. So, let's compare this to other versions, Ge uh, other generations. Generation 1, you had red, blue, green, and the uh, yellow, which all of them were main uh, titles, which... Um, counter for inflation will probably come to about 50 quid like back then it would have probably been like 15 or something but including inflation it's probably about 50 quid um because that you know inflation and all that so that's 50 or 100 150 200 quid yeah bearing in mind sword and shield one of those games plus expansion is just 70 quid but two of the original generation one games that counting inflation and all these calculations would have been about 200 quid and then you have two more that you haven't gotten and we're not even counting spin-offs because um, uh, we haven't really got any proper spin-offs for um, gen 8 yet generation 2 Silver, gold, and crystal. One hundred, about one hundred and fifty quid. Yeah, that's still, that is still expen more expensive. That is not as expensive as Gen as Gen One, but it's still more expensive than Gen Eight. Um, Gen Three, you have um ruby, sapphire, emerald, fire red, and leaf green. Yeah, that's going to be more than Generation 1. That's 50, 100, 150, 200, 250 quid. Again, all of these are accounting for inflation. 
Like, I'm not. I am in. I'm. I'm not gonna say that it, it is fifty quid, including inflation. But with inflation, it's gonna be more or less fifty quid. Like, it's gonna be within a margin of error of fifty quid. Quid. Like, if anything, if if I'm wrong, it's wrong. Uh, it's probably gonna be something like forty-four pounds. 50p or something like that. It'll be like something in the middle. So I'm just uh, doing a guesstimation and saying about 50 quid in counting inflation. Um, generation four. You had diamond, pearl, platinum, hard gold, and all silver. Oh look, 250 quid. But if you uh, well, well, let's just add in the bank here. It um uh. Uh, something uh, let's uh, take back into uh, account here. Something that, that that Generation Four could do that Gen uh, that we can't really do right now is with the DS. Actually, I have one of my DS lights here. With the DS light, you could have a Game Boy Advance uh, cartridge in there, or um, a Rumble Pack. Game Boy Advance cartridge in there for uh, the for the Generation Three card games, Diamond, Pearl, or Platinum in there uh, in the DS slot, and um, you could transfer your Pokemon over. Um, and it was technically not possible to complete Generation Four without uh, first owning Generation Three or having a friend that owned Generation Three, where. In Gen 8, it is perfectly possible to uh, complete the decks entirely without owning any previous generations. Um, Gen 5, you had Black, White, Black 2, White 2. No remakes, just the sequels to the original games instead of a third, third version, but still that makes this the most expensive gen um, that does not have remakes uh, at uh, um, 200 quid. Um, and then again, to 100% Generation 5, you basically needed Generation 4 and Generation 3. I think, it, I think they made it a lot easier with uh, the release of Black and White 2. Um, but yeah, pre... You pretty much had to get have the other generation. So, if you want to add that all up together, well, all add that all. If you want to add the previous gen together, that's um, ruby, sapphire, emerald. And, uh, that's ruby, sapphire, emerald, uh, fire red, leaf green, diamond, pearl, platinum, um, heart gold, and soul silver. Yeah. So that's 50 each. 100, 200, 300, 400. That's, yeah, 500 quid. Right there. Just to complete the decks in Generation 5. I could be wrong. Uh, like, um, they could have had, had a lot of Pokemon in, but I know definitely in at the time of Black and White, a lot, there, there was just like a lot of Pokemon you just couldn't get just because it was a soft reboot and they didn't really have any Pokemon that from previous games they could catch wild. So, yeah. But on to Generation 6. You had X, Y, Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire. That's 400 quid. But something I do know about these games, you definitely couldn't be them without the previous generations. So, that is... Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, uh, Defire Red, Leaf Green, uh, um, Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, Hard Gold, Soul Silver, Black, White, Black 2, White 2, uh, yeah, that's 500, 600, 700 quid. And uh, then you have Genesis. Seven, which was Sun, Moon, Ultra Sun, and Ultra Moon. And again, you couldn't get every Pokemon that was in the deck, so you needed to transfer from another previous from a previous generation. So that is Di that is again 
uh, Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, Fire Red, Leaf Green, Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, Heart, Gold, Soul, Silver, X and Y, Auras. Well, actually, you probably need Auras. Yeah, you wouldn't need Auras. Uh, you needed X and Y. Then you needed the Sun and Moon. Oh, wait, yeah. Yeah, so, hold on. I think I might have missed something here. Those three, those two, those three, those two, then those four. So, yeah, we're at, uh, yeah, I missed, did miss some. So, we're at 500, 600, 700 quid. Sun, 750. Moon, 800. Ultra Sun, 850. Ultra Moon, 9 hundred quid but we're not stopping there because you know what you needed to transfer Pokemon from generation 5 to generation 6 that's right Pokemon Bank and it, uh, that'll take us and it, if you got Pokemon Bank every time a one-year subscription every time you needed to transfer to a new game so that's um, oh, let's say it's, I think it was five quid there for Pokemon Bank, so, five to six, six to seven, seven to eight, uh, no, six to seven, sorry, so that's, uh, ten quid, so, that is nine hundred and ten quid you would have had to spend just to 100% to complete, um, Ultra Sun and Ult Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. If you weren't trading with a friend. Yeah, and you're saying and you're complaining that sword and shield cost you too much money. Yeah, I'd rather pay the 70 quid to 100 percent to complete the decks in sword and shield than the almost one thousand pounds. You would have needed to complete. You would need to complete Gen Eight if you, um, if you weren't trading with somebody else and was only getting the Pokemon that were available in those specific games. Um, mind you, to be fair here, I, in Generation Five, it did add a lot of Pokemon from previous generations, but I don't think it would have been all of them. So. Um, yeah, I don't think it all of, I don't think all of the Pokemon from Generation 4, 3, 2, and 1 were available in Black and White and Black and White 2, so you'd still need, uh, um, at least one or two of those games. So no, Pokemon is not expensive, it's actually gotten cheaper if you do the maths. Like, let's just go uh, with, like, um, the highest calculations here. How much would it take for you... For, you know, how much would it cost you to, you know, for all of this? So, that's 100 quid for both games. Another 40 quid uh, to get both of them the DLC, which 99% of people won't do. But we're still going to put that into the maths anyway. That's 140 quid. Then you have the Nintendo Online, which I'm not really going to calculate too much, but, you know, Nintendo Online... You know, let's just add, for the sake of argument, I'm just going to add another 20 quid on there. Because, you know, just to prove a point here, uh, that means we're well, 160 quid. And then you have the Nintendo Online. Uh, not Nintendo Online, sorry. The Pokemon Home. Uh, there's a free version, but say, let's say you wanted to transfer some Pokemon over. Another 10 quid. That's 170 quid. Still not as expensive as... Uh, uh, get it as uh, completing uh, um, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Seriously, like, still, it's still like, it's still a lot of money. But again, that's two games which most people won't get. Then you're getting the DLC for both of those games, which even the even people, most people with both of the games probably won't do. So, yeah, and, mm, yeah, and let's not to get into, um, just, uh, 
you know, the stupidity of people is like, oh, DLC is bad. Nintendo, the game thinks just being money grabbing. I'd rather pay another 50 quid for a third version instead of 20 for the DLC, which would uh, essentially add the same amount of content to the game. Like, seriously, Platinum is my favourite third version. And it still essentially just adds what could have been DLC. Honestly, Jesus Christ, some, the stupidity of some people. Um, but yeah. Um, and now there's probably gonna, I know there's probably going to be some people that's like, wait a minute, there are some pe some Pokemon in like X and Y that you can't get it. And Ultra and Ultra Moon that you can't get in, um, in, like, uh, black and white in Generation 5, meaning that you might not need to get, um, Hard Gold and Soul Silver. Well, uh, well, feel, well, you can feel free to do that yourself, like, cross reference all each obtainable Pokemon in each game, you know, each Pokemon you can catch in each game without, uh, um, using uh, um, Pokebank or any f or transferring any Pokemon, um, I just don't have the time or patience to do that, because I because I would have to go through the current list of uh, Pokemon in each game and where to catch them, and it, uh, existing Pokemon and just like okay, so these Pokemon aren't in there, so then I'd have to do that again for e each game after that, and it, uh, even then. Um, you know, it's just not really worth it because it's been like, well, what's what does this prove? That if you get um, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, um, and X, then you might not need to get Heart Gold. Like seriously, the, the, it's just semantics at that point. It's just like, um, or you know. Whatever, because you you wouldn't need to get Argo, but you still might need to get Soul Silver, because um, there's like a Pokemon in Soul Silver that you couldn't obtain in those three games or whatever. Um, it's re really the point. The point here is, this is the first time where you've since uh, Generation One, where you could catch every. Pokemon that is in the decks in the, uh, in your version or a friend's version, and you didn't have to transfer from a previous generation to complete the decks. And people are complaining that it's too expensive. Anyway, um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.